All right, folks, if this isn't the most iconic image of a... Wow, I didn't even get to finish that intro. Anyways, it is Burnside Bridge, Limestone Bridge in a different format, but that is where we are. We are looking at almost 250 here to start the round. Hopefully we get it up yeah, to I mean, close yeah, to 300 yeah, by the end, if not further. Last round was Dunker Church. It was not particularly close. Uh, yeah, it was it was a Union win, and so we'll see if the Union crowd here keeps rolling. We'll see what their plan is here. I don't know if they're actually are they coming straight for the bridge or are they going to try to do skirmishing off on the stone wall? That skirmishing on that side stone wall. Uh, what is this? The north side? Yeah, 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 it's the north side. It's something that used to happen years ago, but I have not seen it happen. It's not really something that happens too often anymore. All right. We'll find out what you need to decide to do. Yeah, there, yeah, you don't have to try to go out of line to kill that flag. It's, it's going to get in. <laughs> what happened to that guy? Uh, yeah, the Union just steamrolled through there. It seems it's quite easy to get the Union through. One of the things I've noticed on uh, some of the organized play of uh, Burnside Bridge that I've seen a number of channels, uh, I don't know if it was Kodos or if it was on Battleline Network, uh, is that sometimes the CSA will get very aggressive and they'll just charge the Union in the riverbank and try to pin them back there, knock their flags down, and it's it's quite effective. I mean, the Union is really flirting, as they should, with the boundary as much as they can. Right, what's up, gang? It draws the CSA even further out. If the CSA want to go down and, and, and attempt to do that, but the Union got over pretty well. The Union's got a sizable ticket advantage on this map. And so to get over that easily, is a huge asset, but you got to be able to hold. Yeah, it looks good if you're the CSA until you get back here and you realize it wasn't just that group. Union's got two flags up here. Maybe the whole CSA went this way. Yeah, this this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's it's worth. I almost never recommend going out of line, but ooh. Well, they knocked down many of them, but they didn't knock down all of them. And so, if you're a union, and you find, oh no, the flag it fell in and it's it's fall. Am I gonna die down here? Yeah, we'll find out. It's falling further and further away. That is just terrible luck. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that. Uh, not not from, from this view. So anyways, that explains two Union flags. Oh, this is the third. And that means there is a fourth group that lost their flag up here. Looks like there's going to be an attempt to recover it. It fell. Does the CSA have anybody camping this? Ooh. They, they don't have anybody that's paying attention to it. They gotta call that out. These guys see it? Well, the Union's gonna get up. That means they have three, well, two flags that are actually up. All right, y'all stay back here. Y'all stay back. Two flags that are actually up. Uh, yeah, stay quiet. That's that's the advice there. This group, I think, is in a, a real pickle. Shifting right. We can shoot them from here now. I mean, this is just... Yeah. I get it, maximum memes, but it's like, all right. So, defenders, if you wonder why you lose. Right. Oh, I guess the CSA got the word. I guess somebody moved too much or probably shot or did something. That, that is terrible for the Union. Though, you know, now that I think about this, 
if you are going to go down as the Union, lose the flag in the water. It seems like they're coming back way faster than five minutes. Right? That last one, I think, when it got out around there. Eh, that one's almost there. It seems like that one will respawn. Now, we'll see if anybody actually comes in with it to confirm that thesis. But now it looks like the Union has no flags on the CSA side. And the CSA's up in tickets. So... This one, uh, it's more interesting. All right, we're gonna do a little science here. Yeah, it's, oh, no, it's still there. It's still there. Maybe I was just easily distracted in the five minutes past last time before it, it, nope, that's it. So, like two minutes? I don't know, somebody else can pay attention and, and figure it out, but it seems like you'll get it back minutes faster if you lose it in the water than if you lose it on land. All right, you need to have a third flag up and probably the one that just went down. Yeah, it was one of the American ones. We're missing a, a Union charge. Ah. Even if it gets across, it'll get across with a maximum, I think, of two flags. Unless they're able to get this one up. I wonder if this is the same guy. Tried to hunt that flag earlier. Oh, so the Union flag did not cross or it crossed on the right. I guess it crossed on the right. That group just split up. So Ian has a group over here. Wait, 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 and negotiating. Um, all right. Just just like they drew it up, right? Yeah, that's a CSA group there. I can, stone wall for now while we I can only locate two Union flags. The Yo, one, flag that around? Union one there, and I think I think the CSA see it. I think that's what I that's what it looks like. This CSA, CSA flag is tracking over there. And there's a very good chance that Arthur saw him. Yep. And they they probably probably know they're done. Uh, is it gonna fall in the water? Uh, he's gonna try to run it out. I think run it out. I didn't even know about that. I, I I didn't know, and maybe I'm I'm just hallucinating. And this is old news that flags respawn faster when you dropped. It seemed like that other times, but maybe they actually respawn faster. Dropped in. All right, you got three flags up. That's good news. But it's you know as as unpromising a start this has been for the union. There's a fairly good chance they're going to get the CSA to engage before 27 minutes, which would be my first check. They're probably going to do it. Run to the left. Run Down to the tickets. Left. But the Union has a lot more, and they can make it up on the back end. But they have to get in, and they have to be able to make it up on the back end. And these people... The union's just bleeding tickets because I'm guessing there's a lot of self-appointed flag recovers or just people who don't know what's going on and they're just bleeding out of the lines. thing about this for the Union the consummate silver linings guy is that it tends to keep the CSA you can see where they are right? their flags are not too well hidden those are the easy they've got to be the easiest shots to hit in War of Rights with, with artillery I guess these guns had to move up for I don't know maybe they want to use their canister later on that's cool I would support that. Uh, but you're firing into a hill 
frequently with CSA stacked one in front of the other. And so if you overshoot one group, you'll probably hit the group behind. I know Artie's in a in a very rough spot right now, but and maybe they'll always be there, but How many make it? They're gonna try the Union left side again. Alright, several CSA are just gonna charge him on the bridge. That seems unnecessary because the whole Union team's coming that way. Unless they're just looking to delay so it hundred other guys can grab their reloads. Alright. One Union flag. Two. Okay, that cannot stay there. Well, we were all new ones. And the CSA tracked this one pretty easily. Yeah, so I mean the two sides when engaged kind of similarly. Oh, he went in to melee him. He went in so deep he can't he can't melee. Uh but he can get shot. Well, Appears to be the end of that. Where did the... Where did the Union flag over here go? Oh, it's lost all the way up here. Yikes. Well, let's find the rest of the Union. I don't see any officers on the right. What do I see over there? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, probably the Artie officers. I've not looked at Artie. We can do that. I think we're going to be in a reset period here. All right. They're wheeling a gun up. I think this is always a mistake. Uh, it, it looks super cool to, to line it up here, to get the angle on the bridge. But you already got, like, how many are in Nardi? So I don't get the math wrong. 16 out of one. You basically got 120 rifles that can already shoot the bridge. You've just taken yourself out of the fight for at least the first 15 minutes trying to get the gun in position. And then once you do this, the easiest, probably one of the easiest features to hit as Union Nardi is to shoot the point. And they're going to see and hear you. And they're just going to use point as reference and they're going to shoot. I just think counter bat doesn't do all that much unless it actually kills you. But if it just knocks you down, you just shoot 10 seconds later. But is that dude? He was Union. He looked very gray. But we have a forward CSA gun. The other reason why I don't love doing it is that I do get pushed back. It's not another question for the Union to play Grand Theft Arty. And these folks here probably have their ranges. You would think. And so they know the ranges to... That's why that those other guns move. That's right. That's why we usually move up as, as Union Arty here. If you think the other side's already has your spot dialed in, you just move up a little bit. You move over a little bit. And uh, if they're not getting... They're not getting comms that you've moved. They're just shooting at the wrong position the entire time. Two flags down. How? So close, but that's the second Union flag. We'll fight for the blood god. That's the right. That's the right attitude. Yeah, so it's actually, like, kind of close, in spite of everything. I can't explain it, given the number of Union Rambos. 
coming over this bridge. Well, I don't blame them. If the left side doesn't work, well, I guess they tried the right side. I wonder... I wonder what'll happen, or what happens... The Union eventually begins shooting this out a bit more. The CSA this dispersed. I understand why it's a position nobody really wants to shoot out, but... If you lose a flag, right? You're all lined up on that bridge. You lose the flag, like, back here. And you just make it a firefight in the way the tickets are adjusted. Oh, John Wayne, go for it, buddy. Sam Davis, not Sammy Davis, is, is chasing him. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Uh, I don't know, man. Some others are going to try to stop John Wayne. Uh, yeah. I would just go up and over. They're not going to give up on you, dude. So you got to get it as close as you can or run it into the water. All right, Union's up to two flags and uh, a third not far off. The other very far off, so... Why? Just why? Apparently somebody gave Artie the message that these guys are uh, on the stone wall. Were those shots effective? They didn't look like it. Close, but no cigar. seen a lot from the Union side, not too much from the CSA side. I think that might have got... No, I think it was just two knockdowns, but... You don't really want to be here doing what these guys are doing. You can sh get shot straight up. I understand you'll get your kill, but the CSA, your tickets are very precious. But I really do just wonder if the, C if the Union just stops and starts shooting before they're this exposed and just grinds those tickets. I wonder if the CSA can keep up with them. Some of you got in here. But they kind of know the plan and they must have scouts. Because they've tracked those flags every time. Good work here getting the flag back. At least with friendlies in case you can't get it out. I was just thinking, you got to be close to taking losses. And they are. Yeah, I think that this is the meta for Burnsides. It's just a very aggressive CSA counterattack. Mow the Union down and then close distance in melee. And it 
looks like the same treatment got meted out over here. It's a good idea, but I don't think there are any friendlies that way. I just wonder from here. Commendable. From here. Union do have shots. You, you got to be plinking every ticket you can at this point. Also, oh, a union group did get across over here. Oh, all right, the union's down by about a fifth of a morale stage. These guys look like they're gonna get wiped now that I'm here. Oh, they got Manfred von Karstein, so don't worry, he'll be back. Uh, poor Chuck. Chuck is being hunted. underneath them. Chuck is still there. Stop moving, Chuck. If you move, they're going to see you. There you go. That's all you do. Do nothing else. The guy just ran right past him. He's trying to, <laughs> he's trying to figure out where this guy is. I know. I heard something. Don't worry, it's not being streamed. We're not giving Chuck away. All right, I can't really care to care about that, but uh, I will try to make it look like I do, and we'll all give our best to Chuck. And I don't know if they know Chuck's over there. My guess is Chuck's probably gonna get is Chuck probably gonna get killed by friend. Oh. I don't, I don't see Chuck anymore, so. Yeah, I mean, you can do this while you're waiting for flags, and the CSA looks like they're gonna give you Everybody just got some shots. Eh, those are tough. But yeah, from here, you can see the CSA. So if you have a group up here, I kind of like our friend Meadow. And they, they knew where it is. They could definitely shoot off the sides. I think it's a bit too a bit too clever to work though. Again, in terms of the ticket burn rate, Union's doing good on that account. They're just not doing good in terms of relative tickets. What unit is that over there on But the it's it's really these just Rambos that keep going over one after the other. It's making a a difficult situation worse. So the union still has those down flags. It's really hard to get anything started. They're up to three that are in. why the CSA is choosing to answer those volleys if they could just grab some concealment tell the flag to go hide in the bush get good and hidden and maybe don't answer a volley or two this is a somewhat cool shootout but you know make the union do what's been unprofitable the whole game don't give the union 50-50 shootouts I'm not sure they're even yeah, getting 50-50 over here because the union does have a stone wall and some concealment they're coming, they're coming. So we see. We see what the union sees. Yeah. When you're shooting into a fence. But maybe it's this. If you don't give the boys something to do, they'll grow restless.
I mean, you can see the unions. Well, we don't know when these people died. But conceivably, it was recent. And it's a result of this shootout. We got some splatter here. I think somebody just stood up. My experience in this position is that it's very rough. Not as rough as that position. I really wonder if the Union had loads just shoot it out and melee it. Because you know the CSA is going to melee you, right? Union split push. Yeah, I mean, that's what Union already ought to do. That looked a whole lot like a TK, but... I'm not the referee, I don't care. I... don't see a Union officer. But we have a group down here with a flag, it's something. But yeah, this is the accepted meta. I don't know, back in the day, I don't remember being able to spend enough time down here as CSA, but I guess you can now. Maybe you always could, and we just never really tried it. you guys are settling those scores, there's a flag you might want to get up. If you can get it up. I don't even know if you can. It's true. It's absolutely true. These guys have an interesting take on it. Reload and shoot them as they come. A lot of these guys, a lot of these CSA are coming down in ones and twos. If it works, right? If it works. Alright, so that flag has gone into the drink. Ah, there's three Union flags here, though, uh, one, two are up at the moment. Wow, you whiff, but, and put a second one in the drink. Yeah, Union flag, you probably want to get it down here, but actually the Union's trickling in. We got two flags up. That's right, just spawn. <laughs> it's so funny because they can't melee them. <laughs> uh, uh, well, you gotta find some entertainment here. Burnside's is, uh, it's a lot less dynamic and, and fluid than it used to be. Right. Union would eventually make it across. They move right and left and, uh, there is some fun stuff. I know you're all here for the history lesson, but you know, there was fun games to be played of, you know, do you go for this fort? And if you lose it as CSA, do you try to retake it? There's moving around to the left. The union, the union put them in breaking first, despite everything. And that is with plenty of time. Uh, well, with, <laughs> with one caveat, the union can't keep losing these flags. I don't have a solution to the problem, but maybe it's just YOLO charge over and keep the flags back here. And that way you at least keep hot, steady pressure on and everybody you send over is, is dying in formation. Stay on the wall, stay on the wall. Steel, stop some, some other steel. But if you know the CSA is gonna concentrate down here, don't, you know, do the ticket exchange, but don't lose the flag as the attackers, particularly on a choke point map like this. That was a great shot. If it was about 20 Oof. yards closer, yeah. It's a good knockdown. 
But again, if you're Union already and you haven't shot through all your ammo, you hit T as a regular gunner. You know the gun is near point. It's a little to the right. You do like one click right. Yup. <laughs> Look at that. You've actually lined guns up. So if you overshoot one of them, I mean, this reminds us why counter bat is so bad, right? Because you killed one guy or knocked down one guy, but then somebody else is just ready to fire it almost immediately. But if the Union guns are on the right line, you can overshoot one and you'll hit the one behind it or at least disorient it. And already can sink a barrage into this hill just as its crew starting to go over and if you can space the shots out every four seconds from I think four guns you could heavily disrupt the CSA firing line Not sure that might just be a a yolo charge i'm not sure that any flags went over i guess we'll find out there's a csa guy in here that i don't know if they meant to go in and, and die out of line i've been faulting the union for their out of lines but the csa has sent a couple back in there is yep i got you there, yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, it's not a unit. Yeah. So, you know, CSA, Rambos, maybe they are the bigger star. I guess we'll, we'll find out at the end. This is a fine position to cut the Union off, right? you're going to push them up against the boundary then the union has to push through you and if they don't have flags they're not going to win a, a shootout here uh. hey hold on there's another union all right yeah. well we'll see this is uh this is going to be a bit closer than i thought union is up to all four flags um, the ticket level is pretty much dead even. I think, I think there are only two, two charges left. I don't, I don't think, yeah, now I don't think the union's going to do it. I don't know if they're going to have the tickets to put the CSA in the last stand. But the call was to go right. You can see the CSA now has to play it straight up. And they're playing a bit further back, at least according to the officers. Should make it a little bit easier to get across. And to make sure that you concentrate against the right side, you don't miss anything, but you're also more susceptible to artillery. Yeah. So why did we do that? <laughs> well, you couldn't do it earlier because the CSA was playing too far forward. Probably to allow that to happen. It looks like the CSA has mirrored that just about perfectly. And you can see, we'll get down to the CSA level here. Now we're zoomed in, but even zoomed out, you can see what they see. As long as CSA is not caught out without loads and then they get charged, they should be all right. But you know what? I remember being on Nicodemus where attacking, we put the defenders through breaking in the last stand in about three minutes and we didn't do anything fancy. This is a big push. What? 
Is that all? Yeah, that's an all in there by the CSA. like it is. Well, maybe not quite. I think this is CSA. Yeah, this is CSA. Oh, we got one Union flag over here. Well, they're likely going to get cut off. That was a pretty sizable group. Yeah, they got a flag. They got flag, numbers. Flag, 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 flag. There's nowhere to fall back to. You're pinned against the edge of the map. So from here, it's... Uh... Well, final push is coming soon for the Union. So That flag may not be in the water. Enough, enough to get the faster respawn. That one is not. One, two, three flags down. And I think they're just trying to put the Union to find, find a push. This is a late game play. You can certainly make use of your canister on this map as Union artillery. You can as CSA artillery as well if you move your guns up to the, the crest. The thing about canister is I'm showing this on another map. It, it shoots kind of like the shape of this bridge. So when you get it high and you get a group column charging you, uh, a valiant flag recovery effort. Uh, you could just absolutely decimate a line. And I don't think canister suffers from some of the same nerfs as shell in particular okay, in terms okay. of Good killing problem, power. Problem, and in fact, it's supposed to be able to have a chance to penetrate at close enough ranges. Ideally, enemies. All right. So the Union lost about a minute there. As long as the Union only has one flag, though, I don't think it really matters. Unless Artie really bails them out and puts them in the last stand soon. But I think the CSA will probably go all in on keeping those flags down. And then denying them the, the bridge if there's one more push. I don't, I don't know if anybody... I saw the red mist. I didn't see a corpse form. But we'll see what the CSA does. That Union line has a very long tail. And that's mostly a bad thing because it allows the other side to reload and shoot a second time. But at least for the Union at this point, formation does not matter. For the CSA, I don't know. I, I hate being in last stand and having more than three minutes. That's a flag up for the Union. And really, I think the CSA needs to stomp on the uh, the attack button here. It's not a... I'm mixing my metaphors here, but you got to knock those flags down. And then just fight delaying actions on the bridge. Formation doesn't matter. I saw it. I saw it down here. They're up. They're up. And what... Well, let's see. Get aggressive, boys. Yeah, well, unfortunately, that flag's going to be out of commission probably for the rest of the match there. So. That's almost over. You got one Union flag up here. Was that the one? You got two up. And the Union only has to push at about, I don't know, 
know, one minute. So they got about a minute left to take out as many tickets as they can. That will give them time to spawn in about a dozen more on those two flags. I should say a, a dozen apiece, so that's two dozen all together. I don't think that's going to make up for what they've lost. Maybe. You got another flag back here. It's got to start pushing, though. You got to bring people into the fight. I don't know if they're flooding to the down flag. This is Union. Is that Union Artillery? I think so. They're going for the CSA's guns. They're trying to be sneaky. I don't want to miss the main fight, though, watching what might be a, a side show here. Yeah. Union's got their numbers up. They're going to try. They really don't have enough time to be running that circuitous route. They gotta come straight to point and do the best they can. This looks like it will be a CSA win here. We know the one Union flag is down over there. I don't know what happened to the one that was over here. CSA is now gonna counter push try to put an end to this. And that's the, the right play there. Union is actually behind them and sweeping up. I, it, it, it doesn't look like it's going to matter. But you got to try something. <laughs> CSA is no idea but... well well played oh that can't be right yeah the union's just on cap but as soon as the CSA reacts to that it should be should be the end of it there's no flag up here oh yes there is no way There's no way. There's no way. That is gonna be. <laughs> that is gonna be the. Uh, that's it. I think they pulled it back. Holy moly, that was close. That was incredible. That is just a whole lot of CSA out of lines for a choke point map. But you can also see the innate union ticket advantage there. Holy moly, CSA almost killed them two to one and still lost that one. Well, that one does not come any closer then. So. Hope you enjoyed it, enjoyed bringing it to you and look forward to bringing you more.